It is said that revenge can only be paid by bloodshed. A powerless boy who lost his dad and his mentor to a dangerous Korean cartel made up of killers and big shots in the political world seeks vengeance on his enemies. He has returned after joining a killer group in Russia, becoming the pinnacle in his group. This is the story of the greatest killer. This is the story of bloodshed. This is the story of revenge. In the city in Russia, we see a woman with a beat up face asking for the head of her abuser named Gunter from the leader of a killer group named Iskra. The leader is named Lisa as she asks her best killer, a Korean man named Tigro to kill Gunter to mark his retirement contract. We see Gunter's men shooting at Tigro as he uses a dead body to block the bullets. He swiftly moves from the dead body's back as he punches the next attacker in the throat while snatching his gun. He then uses the gun to smack the next attacker in the jaw, knocking him down. He gets to Gunter's place as he tries to buy Tigro's loyalty with money. Gunter lifts his gun at Tigro as Tigro throws his knife, which pierces his neck. Tigro is seen showering as he thinks about his master and his dad's death. He takes a plane and goes back to Korea to accomplish his revenge. Tigro gets to Korea and calls his right-hand man named Jintae. He gets to Jinny's place as we see an attacker sneaking up on Jintae. Tigro throws his bag to hit the attacker and jump kick the attacker. We see more guys approaching as they belittle the duo. Jinte gets mad as he throws a knife at one of the attackers. The other's attacker as Tigro dodges a bat swing. He hits the attacker in the face as we see the other attacker removing two pocket knives. Tigro dodges a swing by ducking as he blocks a stab with his elbow. The attacker see a punch in front of himself as he is hit by Tigro. Tigro and Jinte go to Tigro's masters named Min Sung's old house. They send someone with them as they raise their guard. Min Sung's first disciple named Wu Jin comes through the shadows while eluding bloodlust. He throws a punch at Jinte as we see the punch blocked by Tigro. Tigro asks Wu Jin to join him in his revenge and even throws a bag of money on the ground. Wu Jin throws a blow as Tigro holds it with his two hands. Wu Jin throws Tigro with one swing as he throws a kick at Tigro. Tigro thinks to himself that he isn't going to go easy on Wu Jin anymore. He catches the kick and kicks Wu Jin's standing leg. He throws the final blow when we see that Wu Jin had blocked it. Wu Jin sees some of the skills Min Sung taught him being used by Tigro. They go to a restaurant when Tigro says that Min Sung was killed by Castle, the criminal syndicate that killed Tigro's father and Min Sung, his teacher. Tigro remembers his childhood friend, the leader of a Bujin group being terrorized by a lower group under Castle. He sees his friend who is a female named Sumin. Her hair is grabbed by a gangster as Tigro asks Jin Tae to beat the gangster nicely. Tigro kicks the other attacker as Jinte goes after the gangster holding Sumin's hair. The gangster throws a punch as Jinte dodges. Jinte also throws a punch as the gangster blocks it. He then kicks the gangster in the ribs as we see the gangster in pain. He punches the gangster as he realizes that the gangster has great durability. He pulls out a knife as the gangster gets scared and drops his guard. Jinte sees this as he does a spinning back kick as he hits the gangster in the jaw. Min Sung talks to Su Min as they agree to work together on the condition that Tigro protect her people. The gangster goes to his boss named Deoxu. Deoxu uses a huge name tag to hit the gangster's face repeatedly as he falls to the ground. Deoxu tells his right hand man named Dagon to take care of the issue. The next morning, we see Tigro having a shadow fight with the strongest killer in Castle named Beck. We see Tigro attacks with a stab as Beck dodges. Beck also stabs as Tigro dodges. The duo attack each other as Dagon interferes with the shadow sparring. Dagon tells Tigro to leave the place by sunset or he will kill everyone. Tigro replies to Dagon asking him to talk with his actions and not his mouth. Dagon finds it interesting and leaves. 
They have a meeting as Dagon plans to investigate on the drugs sold by Deoxu and his gang. They also plan to destroy Deoxu's gang by one week. Jinte pretends to be to be one of Castle's representatives and enters Deoxu's club. We see Dagon's brother going to the Salmon's place with a gang. Tigro is the only one there as he takes off his jacket and readies for the fight. The guys run towards Tigro as he charges towards them. Heaney kicks a guy in front and dodges a bat swing. He punches the bat's user in the face and dodges a stab. He catches the attacker's hands and breaks it. Dagon's brother kicks Tigro as he blocks it. Tigro dodges a punch and later blocks a kick with his arm. Wu Jin is seen with Su Min as they wait outside Deoxys club, waiting for Jin Te. Deoxu arrives at the club as he meets with his boss named Jae Hoon. Jae Hoon throws a glass of drink to hit Deoxys face as he keeps quiet. Jae Hoon turns out to be a guy that bullied Tigro when they were in high school. Jae Hoon tells Deoxu to hurry and take over the Bu Jin faction. That's the group led by Su Min. Jean Te seems to have heard everything that transpired and takes the information. Back to the fight. We see that Suman's boys have come to join the fight. We see Tigro dodging Dagon's brother's attacks. He has had enough as he catches a kick and kicks Dagon's brother's knee. Deegan's brother swings a knife as Tigro is not impressed. Tigro throws a hard punch as we see Dagon's brother fall to the ground. He swings the knife again as Tigro catches his hand and breaks his wrist. Su Min comes and pleads to Tigro to leave Deegan's brother. We see Dagon holding his brother's collar to and warns him not to attack Su Min again. Su Min narrates the story about Dagon. For years ago, Dagon asked Su Min's father for help in saving his brother, but Su Min's father never helped. Wu Jin came with a bike and asked them to go and save Song themselves. This is where we come to know that Dagon's brother is named Song. They get to the place Song is kept as Wu Jin plans to hold off the guys. Dagon goes inside to save his brother. Wu Jin attacks the kidnappers as he beats them up. He blocks with a swing with his arms as he punches the attacker in his ribs. After some time, we see Wu Jin sweating and barely standing. Dagon comes outside with his face bloodied up with Deoxu by his side. He helps Wu Jin go outside as they leave in shame. Dagon disappeared after a while and came back later, only to be seen as Deoxu's right-hand man. Tigro asks Jin Te to call their information broker, who is a killer. He is named Krat. He gives information. And it turns out that the drug sold by Deoxu was made by the killer that was sent to kill Tigro's parents. The killer named Python. Tigro doesn't fret as he says that Python will die by his hands. Whiles leaving, Croc can't help but imagine what will happen if Tigro and Python decides to have a fight. We see Deoxu telling Dagon to kill Tigro. He meets with Kong. The guy that cut Dagon's face for years ago when he went to save his brother. Dagon goes to Suman's place with his boys when Tigro comes to meet him. Both men plan to fight alone. Dagon throws a punch as Tigro dodges. He replies with a punch of his own as the duo dodge. Dagon throws a kick as Tigro blocks with his leg. Tigro and Dagon throw punches to hit each other. Dagon throws a punch and Tigro dodges. Tigro dodges a roundhouse kick by ducking and blocks a kick to the face. He dodges another kick by kneeling and dodges another by laying back. He holds Dagon's leg and throws him to the ground. He gets up when Tigro holds Dagon by the collar and slams him to the ground. Dagon hits Tigro in the face and Tigro plans to get serious. Tigro dodges a blow to the face and chocks Dagon from behind. Dagon escapes as he punches Tigro. Su Min plans to step in when Jinte stops her, telling her to watch what will unfold. Tigro holds his hair as he says that he will now take the fight seriously. Dagon throws a punch when Tigro blocks with his shoulders. This unbalances Dagon as he is hit in the face. He receives a knee kick and a punch to his face. Tigro ends it with an elbow to the face, ending the fight. 
Dagon wakes up being warped up in bandages. Tigro asks Dagon to work for him. Dagon agrees in exchange for the protection of his brother. We see Song being surrounded by Kong, Deoxa's man. Wu Jin comes and kicks one of them in the face. He dodges a kaif attack and catches the knife with his bare hands. Kong sees that he is outnumbered as he escapes. We see that Deoxu is furious as he plans to finish things by himself. We see Deoxu with his men as they come face to face with Dagon and his men. Tigro comes out and introduces himself. The fight starts as we see both groups fighting. We see Wu Jin and Dagon fighting side by side against the gangsters. Tigro tells Jinte to cut Deoxu's men down to half. Jinte punches the first attacker and moves through the others with speed. He stabs the others one by one as Dagon is seen facing Kong. Two pompous guys are seen requesting a fight with Wu Jin. The brag is the first one is punched to the ground by Wu Jin. We see that Deoxu has joined the fight. He picks one of Sumon's men and slams him to the ground. We see that Deoxu and Tigro have come face to face with each other. Deoxu attacks when Tyro punches him in the ribs. He tries to grab Tigro when Tigro uses his leg to create space between them. He tries to attack when Tigro punches him in the stomach. Tigro uses his knee to hit Deoxu's chest, making it difficult for Deoxu to breath. Tigro uses Deoxu's head to hit the ground, ending the fight. With everyone's shocked faces, Jinte explains the name on more Tigro. It means the Black Dragon River Tiger. With the end of this power, comes another to replace it. Will Tiger be able to defeat the rest of the killers with his current strength? Subscribe to this channel to watch the next part of this video.